I've spent the day color grading, and boy does it take some time. Um, this first scene I just color graded took quite a bit of time. Here are the layers. There was this electrical wire that ran across the top. I had to take care of that first. So I just duplicated the entire image and then shifted the whole thing down ever so slightly and then cropped out everything except this portion of cloud on the one above it so that it kind of just blended it in with the sky beneath it. So basically it's just a portion of sky, a portion of cloud that put on top of this layer covers up that wire. That was the only clip I had to do that with, thankfully. Then on top of that layer, I have an adjustment layer for basic correction because I had the camera set up to shoot very flat images. That's what you want to do when you color grade so that you don't have blown out whites or very, very dark black shadows. So when you come back in, you have a lot more room to push the blacks and whites without losing detail. And this one I had to do separately for each different one because the point of this is to make all of these shots from different angles, from different lightings, all match up and look like they were taken at the exact same time from the exact same location. So this, and this, and this, and this have all the same color temperature, color lighting, exposure, so that they all look uniform. And so what I did for this specific clip, if I come into the Lumetri color panel, I used the color scopes to help get the balance. Cause see, if I change the black, it changes the bottom of that. And if I change the shadows, it changes more drastically just the, the shadows areas. Same with the whites and the highlights. The whites do the, the really brights, and the highlights do a lot more of the mid-tone highlights. That's what the basic correction did. On some of these other clips, with parts like this down here, if I take the blacks down too far, it clips out of the bottom there, and that means that those details are being lost. So if you come in close, you can see that the shadows are losing their details on the black vest, and you, you can no longer tell apart the mic stand from the vest. So that's where you lose the detail. So the, the scope helps you see exactly where that detail starts to be lost. And so for that clip, I did the same thing until I got this clip to match all the other clips. The next adjustment layer was the creative side, changing the uh, color temperature ever so slightly more blue and doing more with this creative panel, choosing a look so you can apply different looks that changed drastically the uh, look of your footage. And on the color wheel, I put more blue into the shadows and more uh, orange tones into the mid-tones, giving it a different feel than this uh, slightly green tint that it had before. And you can see that I applied that one universally over top of all of these clips, changing it the same amount because I already got them to look like each other here. So the same adjustment should adjust them the same way now. And then this third layer was a layer to make the grass greener kind of an ugly yellow green grass and then I used the HSL secondary color thing to select this ugly green yellow so that it's the only thing that's being modified and then I put more blue and green into it so that that green grass turned a much more pleasing shade of green to my eye and I had to cut this differently down here in the panels because as you can see if I had put it here this yellow moss on these rocks would have turned green, which uh, looked a little odd. So I had to cut those chunks out of the adjustment layer so it wouldn't show up on these frames. And last but not least, on any of these frames, I was a bit more in shadow than any of the other ones. So what I did was I duplicated the actual frame of footage and brought it up above. And then I went into the effects panel for that clip and created a mask around my face. I had to zoom real far in and then uh, trace around roughly the shape of my face. And then I had to make all these keyframes follow where my face went so that it never lost track of where my face was. And what that did was it created a layer where it was just my face. If I eliminate the layer underneath, you can see it's just my face that's visible. So any changes I make to that layer will only occur to my face. And then I just changed what was in the mask to be more brightly exposed and a little bit more saturated and made the face really pop out there. And I did that for any section I was walking. That was the most time consuming part because I had to make sure that the mask stayed where it needed to be on my face as I moved, which is not easy <laughs> to do. And that is the very tedious long process that I have to go through with every single clip in the entire edit, which obviously takes some great time to do, but way worth it to get from this to that. Oh, my phone is trying so hard to focus. Ooh. Ooh. Tonight, I'm planning to go hang out with some friends from my graduating class. I can't believe that it's been a year since I graduated. So much has happened. One of my friends is back from college since spring break, so we're getting the gang back together, as it were. None of them have been on the vlog before, so if I do vlog, cut to that. 
Crap. Look at that sky. Oh, that's beautiful. And there's a sunset there. Are you really vlogging right now? I am. Hi. You've vlog. never been on the vlog before. No. That's I'm a, I'm a person. Ananias. Yes, I'm Ananias. Ananias. <laughs> I'm on the ground because I fell off the swing and it hurt. My shins. All right, one-handed frisbee while vlogging. Let's do this. Uh -huh. Well, I'm trying to get it in the shot while also catching it. Ow! Left-handed too, yeah. It's an extra challenge. Hit him in the face. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's gonna be so much harder this way. Stop three. Stop. <laughs> we gotta throw it around this way. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. Send me running. When you try your best, but you don't. Beautiful. When you try your best. I feel all of this in the morning. There's a there's a light up bike. Where'd it go? Did he leave? Where'd it go? He was right there and he went behind a car and now he's gone. Darn it. It was like red, red spinning wheels. It was cool. Silhouettes against the moonlit sky. I mean this looks like a really artistic shot if this meant anything. Like if this is a part of the short film, this would be cool. There it is. Spinning bike is back. We found spinny bike. Focus! Focus your camera! Why won't you focus? Your eyes are red! Oh my goodness, this is so creepy! <laughs> okay, one, two, now! <laughs> I wish I had started recording when Audrey was there, but that time we were just like sitting in a restaurant talking. And that would be boring. Yeah, well I have done that before. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Hat Chat. I'm your host, Bethany. So, I thought I'd tell y'all what we're doing. I'm seeing a friend tomorrow, Philip. shout out. I'm gonna see him tomorrow, and I was super excited. I'm gonna get to tell him happy birthday, because I'm not gonna see him on his birthday. So, I had an idea. I told mom, who's gonna be at Walmart, she'd pick it up for me, and then I'd pay her for it. Turns out, Sam got Philip that for Christmas. Yeah, it was the little squishy pillows. So now, Sam and I are going back to Walmart to buy him Risky business letting Bethany take over the vlog two two vlogs in a you know in a, in a uh. <laughs> I almost said two vlogs in a week, but they're weekly vlogs, so it, it like I was trying to come up with a time period that two vlogs are a part of, which is two weeks. What I should have <laughs> just said is two vlogs in a row. Is what I was thinking. 
If we find what we're looking for, we probably will show it because I'm giving Hill's present tomorrow and the vlog comes out on Monday. Like Wait, isn't that a new movie, BFG? Big like Fat Giant or something? What is it? Round fudge graphic. <laughs> You're gonna put up a round fudge graphic right, right now. Bongos for Gorilla. Box flipping. Good. Box flipping good. Yeah, box flipping good. <laughs> Our new slogan good. for Sam Cam. It's box flipping good. Hey, this is Hat Chat, and I will make my Stop. own slogan. Stop. <laughs> okay, shopping. Any ideas? Because I got zip. Yeah, I'm not gonna... getting him candy unless I said like a last resort. I don't think we're gonna find anything in the produce aisles. <laughs> Gel pen, construction paper. Get him napkins. Happy birthday, Phil. His birthday's on Monday. I don't remember people's birthdays. I totally need to get Phil one of these. I'm gonna have so much to edit this time. I like that I'm the one buying the present, but you're the one searching for it. I'm just vlogging about it. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna buy for get you. Get both of these. Uh, but I'm only buying one. No, you're buying a dollar's worth. Okay, but that will go over a dollar. 48 is not 50. Oh yeah, I don't math. Should we go to the gun section? Okay, we are gonna sit here and stare until I think of what to give Phil. Okay, a moose. We have to go to Alaska for that. Um, a chocolate mousse. Candy's a last resort. A chocolate mousse cake. That's way too expensive. I'm not mousse. gonna give him a cake at the conference. That's gonna be very cumbersome. A chocolate mousse cupcake. Still cumbersome, and he'd, he'd have to leave it in the car until after the conference, then it wouldn't be any good. A chocolate mousse cupcake trophy. Bro. You're so loud. I'm not being that loud. And besides, doesn't the vlog have to hear me? You're so loud. Can I need this? It gets better. Oh my goodness! This is really comfortable. It's a weird color though. I mean, our PS2 is black, not gray. The uh, PS1 is the gray. The PS1 is gray. The PS1 is gray. Yeah, that does look like something he would wear. Yeah, it did. I thought of like Narnia but it, but when like I saw in a, it. in a tank top version. <laughs> okay, so, and we're done. <laughs> Dude, I gotta start over. Okay, and we're done. Thanks for tuning in to the first edition of Hat Chat. I'm not Many you more to come. I swear these oatmeal cream pies didn't used to be this big. So besides morning Walmart runs, I spent today designing a new t-shirt design. Do excuse the voice, it's uh, bleh. I cannot breathe. Stupid allergies. <laughs> Anyways, at the uh, speech and debate tournament when we were playing guitars and everything like that, there was one song that was just like way too low and someone just goes, put a capo on it. And I was like, there's a t-shirt design. So I spent the day designing that t-shirt and it actually took quite a bit of time to come up with something I was happy with. I have quite a few experimental uh, iterations here on these papers that I thought you might be interested to see. So I started out with like a very, very loose, just like writing in the words so that I could get a visualization of the words that I have to include. So it says one line Life brings you low. Put a capo on it. I don't know what that is. I kind of liked that idea, but I came up with something better in a second. And I was thinking that I would include the capo squishing down on a, one of the letters. A capo, for those of you who don't know, is the little device that you put on a guitar to uh, instantly raise the key of what you're playing. So you could play the same chords, but a key higher, or two, or three, or wherever you put it on the uh, bridge of the guitar. Anyways, then I came up with the idea to put low as very low on the ledger lines of a piece of sheet music. And then I thought maybe I could use actual notes to spell out the word low. And so with those ideas, I moved on to the next page where I really fleshed out the uh, top here and I liked what I came up with. The notes idea ended up not looking like the word low enough. So I just had to include the word low in letters and keep it you know, lower than the other notes here. Then when I did a different one, uh, it ended up being a lot more obvious, enlarged the word there, and I also made the notes the low part as opposed to the uh, bottom part of that. So that was my thought process in figuring out the first half of it. The second half gave me so much trouble. I was thinking I wanted it a bit more plain because this is pretty detail intensive, so I needed something to uh, break that up a little bit and just have more space, have more clarity to the words. So I thought about using a guitar. I may end up taking the silhouette of a guitar and placing it as the background to all of it. I'll play around with that when it goes digital. So this was me experimenting with the capos, pushing down on the letters. I didn't like how that was turning out. I thought maybe I could use the top of the capo for a C. Also didn't like how that was really looking. And here I was experimenting some more with uh, that idea that I didn't like and the, some other text concepts here. And then I ditched the idea of using the capo on the actual words and just have the capo to the side or something like that. So finally I was looking through my Google search to find text-based design inspiration and came upon a font that I really enjoyed. So my final design is going to be something like this. 
And whenever I have time, I will stick that into a computer and illustrate it digitally and cleanly for a t-shirt design. Yay! The design process is a messy business with many sketches and many terrible, terrible ideas. <laughs> so here's the finished concept design that I scanned into the computer to be uh, turned into a clean cut digital t-shirt design. I did this in pencil and then uh, did all the outlines in Sharpie when I was happy with how it was turning out. And you notice that uh, some of the pencil lines that I left were lines that I was experimenting with and decided I didn't want to keep in. So like the inside of these letters here, I tried out but didn't like. These uh, shading lines here, a couple different angles, but didn't like how that was turning out. So I just left those pencil. And actually when I scanned it in, those lines were too faint to uh, really appear in the sketch on the computer, on the scan. So the Sharpie helped to uh, separate those out too. And then I had the brilliant idea of making the capo the A. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier, honestly. But if you remember, the sketch had it over here upside down. And I decided that if I scooted these over, I could fit the capo here and it could come out this way. As you can see the faint sketch sketch that I started doing that comes out that way. But then I saw that the top made a really cool triangle that was just so obviously an A that I had to make that the A. It just made sense. So I'm pretty happy with this design, scanned it in the computer, and I ran into some trouble finding the fonts that I was wanting. Took quite a bit of time, so I didn't really get much progress digitally today, but I do have the finished concept. But tomorrow we have the reshoots in the evening for the Greatest Showman medley, and then next week I'll do the finishing touches on that medley, and it'll be out sometime next week. Of course, I've said that before. <laughs> in any event, this t-shirt design probably won't get finished for a little bit, but I'll get to it eventually. I have nothing to say about this. This? This is just what I wear on the house. We're trying to find something to stuff <laughs> Sam's bowler hat with so that it's not too it's big for his head. <laughs> okay, so we're filming again, which means Ezra and me are driving again, which means we're gonna get lost again, which means it's gonna be all his fault again. No, it's gonna be, it's totally all her. Hashtag totally all her. Hashtag, hashtag all you. Her, hashtag let's crazy. not start a hashtag battle hashtag again. Hashtag yes less. Hashtag only in the hashtag, comments. Hashtag oh yeah. <laughs> hashtag always. Hashtag it is on. Hashtag you have no idea system. You know what's funny? I can imagine Sam editing this and when it comes to this, he's gonna put all these graphics. He's gonna put like all the hashtag words up <gasps> here. Hashtag snap. We're doing a significantly better job at following Sam's car than whoa, whoa, any time Whoa, whoa, where is Sam's car? Is that Sam's car? Yep. I just don't want to run over this guy. Don't shoot people. Answer the I question. How much time do you have left? Like two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too late. I'm sorry. That's a wrap for the second time. <laughs> the candy. Watch the you want the candy. <laughs> Hopefully we got all that we need this time. Oh. The camera settings looked all better this time. So I, I doubt it will have the grain problem. I'll have it edited by uh, end of Monday is the plan, unless something goes wrong, which has already happened enough. It'll be out by Tuesday or Wednesday, probably Tuesday. No candy. Thursday, Thursday is the latest. No later than Friday. <laughs> Definitely no later than Saturday. It might take one more. Don't like send a ginger to plan your have schedule. to reshoot all of it. No, Leave don't. it. Go get it. Good girl. Oh, she's gonna follow orders. Good girl. What are we gonna okay. do? Okay. So we'll we'll, <laughs> uh, we'll have that ready. It's been a real experience. Uh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna, I'm gonna put up a playlist of all of the of the all of the vlogs that include anything related. What are you doing? It's Diamond, not me. <laughs> anything related Good to the girl. Greatest Showman. See I'm it. gonna put it in a playlist so that you can. I don't know. I'll, It'll it'll be out. It'll it doesn't cool. matter. It's all all the cool stuff. It'll be so and cool. And then uh, and we then all the cool stuff will be so cool. I'm done. We're Quote, just unquote, we're done. We're, th this is it. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.